Hi, my name is Sebastian Matteau and today I want to give you a very basic introduction to using lists in Python. Now, so what is a, is a list in Python? A list is simply a collection of elements. So here I have a few examples. Uh, here is a list with the name random animals and it has the elements of this list are a cat, a dog, a capybara, a rabbit, a praying mantis and an octopus. Right, so it is a list consisting of strings because each of these elements are strings. Uh, we indicate that it's a list using these square brackets and uh, we separate the elements of the list uh, using a comma. Right, so this is a list of length 6 because we have 6 elements. Below you have a list of numbers uh, with, uh, with 4 prime numbers, 2, 3, 5, 7. Right? And then we have another slightly more complicated example, a list of lists where the first element is actually this random animals list and the second element is the prime numbers list, right? So a list, the elements of a list can really be anything. They can also be other Python objects. Now, uh, the a list in Python is a fixed order, meaning that unless you change things yourself, the order of the elements is preserved, right? So here in our random animals list, the cat comes first and it will always come first unless you change it yourself. It will never uh, come second or anything. And that's important and is, for example, not the case in the dictionary, but in a list it is. And you can modify lists. So you can, for example, add elements to a list or append, as it is called, or you can replace elements for a from a list or uh, delete elements from a list, etc. Now, so let's take this random animals list. So I'll select it and I'll run this piece of code. Uh, so how do you access elements from a list? Well, that's very simple. You simply access them by their index. So each element has, a, has an index, and the first element has the index 0. So we start counting at 0, right? So you see animals 0 is cat, uh, 1 is the dog, and the last one is actually 5, would be the octopus. So that's, that's simply how you access individual elements. You can also access multiple elements at the same time, and you can do that using a slice. So for example, say that I want to select element, select the dog to the, to the rabbit. Then I start with the one, so the, the index uh, animal, animals one, so the index of the dog, until the index of the rabbit, which is three, plus one, four. Up, and then you see I have dog, capybara, rabbit. All right, so you, you, a slice works by giving the index of the first element that you want to have, then a colon, and then the index actually of the uh, first element that you do not want to have. All right, so it would be this is index 1, index 2, and index 3. Uh, you can also make slightly more complicated uh, slices because you can, for example, say, okay, random animals, so I say 0 to 4, so that would normally be the cat, the dog, capybara, and the rabbit, but I want to make steps of 2, so I add another colon and then I say 2. Then what happens is I only get the cat and the capybara because we make steps of two, right? So we start at the cat, we make a step of two, skipping the dog, going straight to the capybara, making another step of two, and then we're done. Um, so that's, so slices, start, slices take, optionally take three, uh, three arguments, you could say. The starting index, the end index, and the step size. Now, what is kind of cool is that the step size can also be negative. So, Let's say, let's take this example. Random animals, colon, colon, minus one. This is kind of, this seems kind of cryptic, but you will see it quite often in Python. And what it does is, it reverses the list, right? So we start with octopus, then we go to one back to praying mantis, etc., all the way to cat, so to the start of the list. So why does this work? Why does this reverse the list? Well, the first thing to know is that actually, if you don't indicate anything, uh, it means the same thing as just taking the entire list, right? So colon, colon would basically, we, so you omit the first and the, the start and the end index and oh, Python just assumes that you want to have the whole list. And then we take a negative step size, minus one, and this negative step size means that we go back tick, 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 right? So steps can be negative and that, and because steps can be negative, you can use slices to reverse the order of a list. And you will see that quite often. Okay, now, you can also, right now in all these examples, all the positions are positive, 
right? So we start counting from the start. You can also count from the from the end. And in this case, you can say, for example, random animals minus one, right? And then we get the octopus because if you say if you give a negative index, you start counting from the end. So the octopus is minus one, praying mantis would be minus two, the rabbit would be minus three, and so on, right? So the octopus is both at position five, at index five, and at index minus one. And the cat is at both at index zero and at index minus six, right? So just to show that to you, if I say random animals, index minus six, it would be the cat. And if I say zero, it would also be the cat, right? Because there, the one is a way to refer, from, refer to the cat counting from the end of the list. So minus six is counting from the end of the list, and this is counting from the start of the list. Okay, that's basically all there is to know about, uh, about indexes and slices. Now, let's take a look at how you can uh, walk, how you can process the items, of, the elements of a list. Now, say that we want to, uh, say that we want to take all the prime numbers here and we want to multiply them by two and uh, uh, store the result in a new list. Then we could say, okay, prime numbers, times two is an empty list. We start with an empty list. And then for each number in prime numbers, we say, okay, prime numbers times two dot append number times two. Okay, now that works, right? If I select this and I run it, up, click, prime numbers is, oh wait, sorry, I have to also up, first define the list prime numbers and then run this. Okay, now if I then print out prime numbers times two, numbers times two, up, you see it's four because four, two times two is four followed by six because two times three is six, 10 and 14, All right? So that works. Um, but we can do this uh, in a more concise way we can also say, okay, prime numbers times two times two is number. Well, I'll make it a bit shorter. N times two for N in prime numbers. Okay, so just to make it a bit more readable, I will use a sh shorter name. I'll say prime numbers times times two. Now, if I select this and I run it, it works. And if I print it out, you see it also does four, six, 10, and 14. Now, what have we done here? Well, we've used a so-called uh, list comprehension. And a list comprehension is a way to process all the elements in a list, to do something with all the elements in a list in a single line. So basically we say, okay, we walk through every number in the prime numbers, Every number is multiplied by two and we return the whole thing as another list, right? So it's the same, the logic is the same as this for loop right here, but instead of having three lines, we can do it in a single line. Uh, for, uh, list comprehensions allow you to do even more. So let's say that we, uh, let's say that we want to have, for whatever reason, we want to uh, ignore the number three. We don't want to use the, the number three. And we can say, okay, for number in prime numbers, if number is not three, then, oh, not a string three, what do I do now? Number three, okay, select this, I run it, and I say prime numbers times two, up, you say four, 10, and 14, right? So this, there is no six anymore because we have, we have not included the number three because of this uh, if state. Uh, we can do the same thing in this list comprehension in the following way. We can simply say if n is not three. I run it, select it, oh, select it, run it. Ntt. See, it does exactly the same thing: four, ten, and fourteen. And why? Well, because it goes like walk through every number in prime numbers, but only if that number is not three, multiply by two, and return the whole thing as a new list. Right, so list comprehensions are very powerful ways. Is a very are, are a very powerful way to uh, process elements from a list uh, while applying some kind of criterion to uh, to those elements. 
So, uh, and in a very, I think, a very readable and a very concise way. So, uh, list comprehensions are quite useful. Okay, now that's basically uh, all you need to know to to uh, to work with lists. At least the basic uh, the basic things that you need to know. So, uh, thank you very much for your attention.